This is Arne Eisen, Chancellor of JTS, welcoming you to a discussion series about conservative Judaism today and tomorrow. You know, whenever I've traveled around the country in the last few years, I've found two persistent qualities among conservative Jews. On the one hand, they're proud. They're happy to be Jews and happy to be conservative Jews. They hold their head up with enthusiasm about what Judaism offers them in their lives, thanks to their membership in conservative congregations, schools, camps, youth groups, and other organizations. But they've also told me, time after time, that they're a little bit confused about what conservative Judaism stands for. What does it mean to be a conservative Jew? How is conservative Judaism different, let's say, from reform, or reconstructionism, or orthodoxy? So a couple years ago, in response to these queries, I undertook to write a blog series about various aspects of conservative Judaism. The response was overwhelming, hundreds of replies. And then I sat down, edited the series, incorporated the replies and my replies to the replies, and created the booklet that's in front of you now. I hope we're going to be able, together, to think through some of the really pressing issues that face us as Jews and as conservative Jews. And I certainly hope that this exercise to which we bring our minds and our passions, our experience and our hopes, this exercise is going to lead us to create stronger conservative communities wherever we are and to create a stronger conservative Judaism as a whole. I think this is a good thing for God, for Torah, and for the Jewish people. I hope it's as enjoyable an exercise for you, as meaningful an exercise for you, as it has been for me to put the booklet together. Welcome.